D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, with the end of Game of Thrones all together, and the end of Season 8, I thought I would take this time to go over um, what I think of the entire Season 8 as a whole. And let me just tell you right now, I think this is the worst season uh, to date. Um, you know, I... I when I started watching in season one, actually season one had ended before I started watching it, and then I watched season one, and I fell in love with the show, um, so much so that I started reading the books, and I read all the books that were out at the time, and still out right now. And I have to tell you right now, I was so excited about this show. Like, I loved this show so much. Um, when season two, when they were filming, I remember the, the it's in season, and it's episode one, and it's at the end where they... Uh, they're on Dragonstone, and they burn these statues of the Seven and uh, with uh, Melisandre and everything. And I was so... I just saw pictures of just that scene, and I and I saw the, the statues of the Seven, and I got so excited, you guys. That's how much I love the show. I got so excited of just a picture of statues on a beach. That's how much I love this show. And the show has diminished... Uh, from its form, uh, former glory, in my opinion. So, uh, like I said, this is the worst uh, season yet, and I'll, I'll talk about that because I have proof. And I just want to say that I, I wanted to like this show, and I wanted to like this season. Like, I went in before the season started, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to like this, uh, this season, and I'm going to try to uh, be in love with this show as much as I could. And, man, did it let me down. Episode one. I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness. And we'll get into that in just a little bit. So, um, and, 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 and just watching the season, I don't understand how people can still defend it now that it's done. I mean, I still uh, argue with people today that think it was just great. It was a great ending. The episodes were great. I mean, like, come on. If you think that this season was good, not only do I have proof that it was the worst season, but you're stupid. You're a big stupid. And I'll tell you to your dumb face that you're a big idiot. You're a big dumb dumb. And, and I don't understand why you're still talking to people because you obviously don't uh, have good uh, opinions on things. So, um, I have to say that I didn't realize going into this season that the true villains of this show are David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, D&D. &D. Dan and Dave, their writing is so bad and so lazy that I really don't think that they they should have done this season. They should have they should have passed it off, and they could have done that. They could have passed it off, gone on and done their Star Wars movies like they're gonna do now, and they could have gave this to somebody else, let them write it, let them finish it, and they could have just stayed on as executive producers. Uh, you know, got that check from it because you still make money from it, and uh, it would have been, probably been better. But no, they're they're stupid, and they wrote a crappy season. And I really think that it went to it started to go downhill after they passed the books, and they didn't have Martin anymore to really lean on. And I really think that their their uh, their writing shows. I mean, from season to season. And I just want to say, like, if you look at the numbers from Rotten Tomatoes, if you look at season one, uh. It, it just goes, it, season one through four are the highest rated seasons. And if you look, seasons uh, uh, five through eight, are, they just go down. They just they just keep going down, and it, it doesn't get any better. So I think that that's proof right there. And season eight, it's still fresh, but it's the, it's the lowest rated uh, uh, season. And, I mean, and it's got three out of the, the f uh, there's four seasons, there are four episodes throughout the entire series that are, are rotten. And three of them are the last three episodes of season eight. The only one that come is, uh, is from season five, and I believe it's se episode six. And um, other than that, it's got three of the worst rated episodes of the series. And I think that that says a lot. So I want to go through the episodes right now uh, just real quickly. I'm not going to get into it too heavy because I did do some um, uh, uh, see, uh, episode reviews. I didn't get to get to all of them because, you know, life got in the way. And I like to do uh, my videos within 24 hours of something ending. This isn't, but this is just a... So, okay, so episode uh, one... 
uh, is just, it's so boring. It's just, it was no, everybody wants to talk about, oh, it's set up, it's set up. No, it's not set up. They didn't set up anything. It's just everybody showing up, saying, hey, checking you out and everything. And it was so boring and it was useless. It was completely useless. Uh, and, and nothing really, really specific, you know, very great happened in that episode, except for maybe, you know, John finding out he was a Targaryen. That's the only thing. And they didn't need to do that. And moving on to episode two, that episode was also boring and so stupid. And that was just set up to get to episode three. But I'll have to be honest with you. They could have combined those two episodes together and just created an hour long episode. And, uh... It would have been, you know, it would have still been boring, but it wouldn't have been as boring. And it was just, it was bad. It was, they were both bad. Both, both bad. One and two. So going, which all culminated into episode three. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I honestly feel they should have done ten episodes like normal. But episode three should have been episode four. And if they were only going to do episode uh, 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 six episodes, it should have been episode four. Because in episode three, first off, this episode was so freaking dark, and if you are one of these people that defend the dark thing, you're a big idiot. You're a big f***ing moron. You're so stupid, you can't even realize how, how bad of a decision that was. And you can be like, oh, they wanted to create atmospheric. Listen, I don't need atmospheric, okay? This episode should have been called the Helen Keller episode, because it was so dark, you might as well have been blind, because you can't see nothing. And, uh, and I have no problem telling you to your stupid face that you're an idiot for liking the episode. So, and I just have to say that, uh, you know, it's, 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 some, some good things happen in this episode, but I mean, like, listen, it wasn't, it wasn't that great, and I, I don't understand how you can defend it. So, episode four was also boring. I mean, nothing really happened, and it's the fourth rated, uh, worst episode, um, and everything, and I just, it's, it's not good, because nothing, I mean, like, the, the one dragon died, but... That was so, you know, unceremoniously, it was, it was nothing. It was nothing. I mean, like, I didn't feel anything. When it died, I was just like, okay, it died. What a big whoop. And I really, you know, it was, so, <laughs> it was, it was boring. So, I mean, there's a reason that it was, it was rotten. So then moving on to the fifth episode. Now, this was a big waste of time. And it was so rushed. Uh, and we'll, we'll, I'll talk more about that in a minute. But it was so rushed. And I'm just saying right now, this is the worst rated episode of the entire series. The entire series. So if you're one of these people that defends it, you're wrong. You're wrong because it, 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 you're, you're one of those people that defends, if everybody, everybody's saying, you know, one thing and you're the one person that's saying the opposite, you're probably wrong. You're most likely wrong. I mean, there's exceptions to that rule, but you know, if, if, if everybody hates something and you're the one person that likes it, it's probably not that good, and, and 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 I'm sorry, but like this, you're you're the minority if you like that episode. You're also an idiot. You're a big dumb dumb. I can't handle you. So then, finally, episode six. Now, was this the worst ending? I don't know, but I hated it. I hated it so much, and this is why. Okay, this is the third uh, worst episode rated in in the series. And the reason I hated it is because I, the reason I love Martin's writing is because, and I explained this in a, 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 an episode or a video I did called uh, uh, Game of Thrones Sucks Now, but J Martin's writing is, the reason I like it so much is because the good characters in the movie, in the show, bad things happen to them. Like it's, like in real life, good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. And the reason I didn't like that I hated this ending is because the good guys, they get a good, they get a happy ending. They get their happy ending. Now, it's not a perfect happy ending, but they get their happy ending. And here's, and I'll just go over just a little bit. I don't want to get too crazy into it. I'll do another video later where I'll get into it a little bit more. But, so you get, okay, so you, you get, uh, for happy endings, Jon Snow has to go up north. Uh, granted, he, you know, maybe not that, but he, he didn't die. He didn't become king because he didn't want it. Uh, he knows who he is. And he gets to go up north where he was the happiest. I think in episode or in season five or six, he says the happiest was when he was in that cave with uh, Ygritte. And I think he could probably find that again up north. You know, he could probably find a wildling woman, uh, you know, because there's, there's, I think there's some left. And, you know, be happy up there with her and his dog and his dog. 
Sansa, she gets her happy ending. Uh, she becomes queen of the North. The North secedes from the, the Seven Kingdoms. And, uh, you know, and she's she's in charge. You know, she got what she wanted. Arya, you know, she's not a lady. Didn't want that. She's off on her own adventures. She's an assassin. She can take care of herself. She always wanted that. Bran, maybe he didn't want... Maybe it's not the perfect happy ending because he's still a cripple. But uh, he he's king. He's the king. He's a three-eyed raven. He can see whatever. He gets to control the dragon with his weird eyes and everything. Um, you know, Tyrion, he, you know, Tyrion wants, Tyrion, he wanted to be Hand. He's always talked about how he wants to be Hand. It's just, he's not good at it. Like, he made bad decisions. He wanted to be Hand, but he's not that great at it. Um, you know, I mean, and, uh, and, and I could go on and on about happy endings in this. Uh, Brienne of Tarth, she becomes knight. Sure, she lost the man she loves, but she's still a knight like she wanted to. You, you, you could go on and on about all this stuff. I could go on and on about the happy endings and everything. So, so I don't think it's true to the former writing of Martin, and I don't think it has the spirit either. So, uh, you know, and all of this stems from lazy writing and from David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. They have proven themselves to be woefully incompetent uh, in their writing, uh, when they have no source material uh, to fall back on. Um, and I think that the, 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 this this season really proves that, really proves it. And uh, I've said it since season six, that, it, that their, their writing is no good. So in conclusion, this is the worst season of Game of Thrones. Uh, it's proven by their Rotten Tomatoes score. It's still fresh. It's at like it's at a sixty-one, but it's the it's the worst season. It's the lowest rated season. So therefore, I have proof from that, and I have proof from the, the it's got three episodes that nobody likes, and I think that it just proves that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss have ruined this series. It's no longer the greatest show ever, and I think that uh, they're going to ruin Star Wars. So, I mean, tell me what you guys thought about Season 8. Did you like Season 8? So, um, so again, tell me what you guys think about this season. Uh, you can leave your comments in that section down below. Uh, go ahead and leave a like if you like the, this video. I won't mind. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys uh, for my next video whenever. And I'll show you guys later. Bye!